wasn't on the wasn't on the right side of it, man. But this game, I feel like this game meant more than just about anything, man. First of all, just talk about the environment you was in. Obviously, this wasn't the home stadium, but this felt like a home stadium tonight, man. And it's a, and just. Yeah, you know, the environment that it was in. Just talk about the environment for a second right now. Uh, it was a great environment, man. Um, you know, the Warrenfield crowd came out, the Garfield crowd came out. Um, you know, I told my guys, you know, um, you got to learn when you play away in an environment like this to act like it's home. You you at home, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta embrace the crowd. Have fun with it, you know. Man, your big fella over there, Wayne Chappelle, he gave DeAndre a tough task today, man. Just talk about you know just you know how how you how you guys were able to hey. Just, hey 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 just talk about how you guys were able to kind of neutralize it, DeAndre with using Wayne was you know coming with his outside shot you guys running in transition so just talk about today just how you guys were able to just attack that way. Well, to me, Wayne is um, one of the best big men around. Um, I always tell him is is mental. So when he locked in mental uh, mentally. I don't think nobody can stop him. You know, he's, he's one of the best rebounders around. Um, he got heart, he can drive, he can do a lot of good things. So um, I was waiting for him to, you know, come out and play um, like he did today. And we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna build from it. Man, the number one team in Northeast Ohio, you know, how does it feel to be able to say that you went toe to toe with them, gave them all you could handle? What, first of all, how does it say about that? And then what type of test does this early in the season show about you guys and, you know, just where you could go from here? Um, I really feel with my team, I feel like we can play with anybody. Um, I told these guys before, um, you lock in, um, you know, we do, we lift, they lift. We run heels, they run heels. You know, we work, uh, sprint hard, we, they, they sprint hard, we sprint hard. So um, if we come, you know, by it, I feel like we can play with anybody. And today to be able to come here and go at it with the number one team, it says a lot about my my um, guys even in the loss. That we can move and came here strong. I'm feeling how you came in here with the hoodies up, man. You came here about business. I say, man, you didn't get this one done, but I know when that rematch comes at, 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 at the Tiger State, at the Tiger place, man, I think I think that outcome going to be a little bit more different, man. We'll be talking to you a little bit more in the future, Coach Mish. Congrats again. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm here with I'm here with Wayne. I'm here with London. First of all, Wayne, man, just talk about just talk about just talk about your performance today, man. 16 points. You went toe to toe with DeAndre over there, man. Just talk about what you were seeing out there on the floor today. Uh, today it was really like a statement. No, last two games I let my team out. I was in the slump a little bit. In London, man, you made some big time threes, man. You made one three that gave you guys the lead late in the quarter, man. Talk about first of all what you were seeing out there, the, the continuity that you were seeing with uh, with Chris out there, man. And then talk about that shot that you that that you made, man, to take the late lead. Well, obviously they watched some film on me. Um, at the start, they was space guard me a little bit, so I couldn't get my open threes that I needed to get. But um, once they paid off to me, got a little bit tired, I was able to come off the screen and get some clutch shots and shoot with confidence every single time. Man, Garfield Heights has always been the kind of the top dog of uh, the LEL. But I feel like you guys tonight, man, you shouldn't be holding your head down, man. You guys gave them a tough fight, man, a tough a tough fight at the beginning of the season. I feel like you guys can learn from this. What's one thing that both of you can say that you learned from this game just right away that you feel like, man, that you can, you can learn on, not only to face Garfield, man, but you guys got some tougher teams on, on the schedule that could kind of make you better and kind of, you know, get over that hump in these teams and be on the winning side? First, the crowd. The crowd it, it was easier to play with the crowd now. Um, my last game, maybe, was a similar crowd, so I definitely was able to play with the crowd a little bit. Um, and then the stage, uh, number one team. I knew I knew it was going to be a, a, a fight for sure, um, but especially aggressiveness. Um, this is my first time being a little bit more aggressive, you know, face guarding somebody. So, I mean, it's going to be teams in the week that we're going to play that game in March, so I definitely learned a lot from that. Do either one of y'all feel like after a, a close loss like this, man, against a good team, do it make y'all do it make the team a little bit hungrier, a little bit closer to get to that destination of states? Yes, sir. 
All right, fellas, man. I wish I could say congratulations, man. Congratulations on the toughness today, man. Just the overall, you know, competitive nature, man. I know when it, when that when that rematch comes at May, at Warrensville, it's gonna be a. It, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll be a different outcome, man. We'll see. We'll be seeing more of you guys here in the near future, man. Congrats, again, fellas.